All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in Code Fights, the intro sort by height. This is a uh, an interesting one. Essentially, what we are, are tasked to do is we have these negative one values, and then we have other values. And the other values need to be sorted numerically while not moving the negative one values in that index spot. The way that I did it was I created a second array. I then filtered out the negative one values and then I sorted the remaining values. So 150, 190, 160, 180, I sorted it. And then I did a for loop, which I kept track of what index we were on. And then I would inject that number into that spot and then we'd be good to go. So uh, then let's get started by creating uh, our duplicate array. I just call array two and I set it equal to A. We're then gonna filter out the negative ones of array two and sort it. So we're gonna set array two dot filter. And in here we are going to have I wonder if we can do TypeScript in here. Can we do TypeScript? No, okay. Uh, array two element. So here is our filter. And then we're just gonna have if x is not equal to negative one excuse me, element, element is not equal to negative one. I originally called it X, but typically you, you would use element in here. Okay, so if it's not equal to negative one, we just wanna go ahead and return that element. And before we sort it, we can, we can go ahead and piece by piece as I normally would, just make sure it's doing what we want it to do. So let's go ahead and run our test. You'll see our output is 150, 190. Okay, cool, so we ignore the negative ones. Now all we have to do is sort it numerically. We can use the array function sort. And in here, we are going to take in a comma b. It's kind of the standard convention. And then in our sort, we just wanna return a minus b. And that will sort it numerically and we'll run our code and you'll see 150, 160, 170, 180, and 190. Cool. So what do we do next? Well, what, what I did was I created an index val that kind of kept track of what index we are on in array two to inject into our original A. And then we just overrided those values. We checked to say, hey, is it a negative one value? No, cool. Go ahead and take one out of array two. So let's go ahead and create our index val, var array, uh, excuse me, var index val. We'll set it equal to zero. Uh, and then we will have a, so I was thinking about a different way of doing this, but I always do this when I do videos, thinking of a different way of solving the problem. And then mid video, try to ex execute it and then have to record the video again. We're not doing it this time. We're, this isn't a fuck it, we're doing it live. Nah, fuck it, we're doing it recorded the right way. <laughs> so if A of I is not equal to, now A again is our original array. If A of I is not equal to negative one, meaning it's a value that we can replace. Go ahead and set that index value to the original value in, a, to the sorted value, excuse me, in our sorted filter array to index L, and then go ahead and increase index L by one, because next time we do it, we want it to be the most current value. So we're, and then here, all we have to do at the end is return A, and we are done. Let's go ahead and submit, make sure. Cool, so let's go over the logic one more time. We get an array of all the values that are not negative one and we sort it. We keep track of, of what value we're on with this index of, uh, variable, and then we iterate through the, the entire array that hasn't been sorted. And if it's not a negative one, we can replace the value. So we go ahead and we replace it with whatever the sorted value is here. We increment by one so that we continue sorting by the correct value. And then we return the array. Pretty fun one. There's probably a couple different ways you can go about this. As, as with most of these, this was just the uh, way that I solved it in the most, 
in the clearest way that you know I usually solve things and whatever comes up first. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I look forward to you sharing your solutions in the comments below for people who are trying to learn like myself as well as others. And uh, don't forget to support me on patreon.com slash codingtutorials360 and join our Facebook group, Code Tech and Caffeine. All those links are in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.